TV Dependent Beaver Bush, the best dude in the house, and welcome back. This is this is another update video. Now I've decided to. No, well, I'm not going to talk to you about when things will be released, but this update video is coming out today. Um, well, actually, between today and tomorrow. Uh, but I want to explain a few things. Uh, if you can't tell, the reason why the Black King go to DVD KMP is up there is because we're kind of sharing the same profile. It makes sense. I mean, we both kind of have the same interests. Uh, some things I don't like, he likes, but either way, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, and there's some things he doesn't like, I like. But, you know, but anyway, so, here's the thing. I, uh can't record anymore right now, this is the last day, maybe, depends on what's going on, but I don't want to talk about it too much, because I don't want to jinx it or nothing, but we'll see, I mean, so far, well, you know, um, so, in essence, uh, I do want to talk about Zoids, though, Zoids, uh, is, if you watch, this, the newest one, which I think it says it's 2018 or 19, whatever, that is not Zoids. It never has been, never will be. I, I can understand adding new stuff and all that, but back in the day when Zoids was a thing, it was always uh, somebody fighting something or whatever. They kind of, what they did is they kind of uh, stole from, I wouldn't say fully stole because they didn't like transform or anything. Uh, you know, like, you know, like, make a big giant robot, or whatever, but, anyway, from Voltron, and, well, Power Rangers kind of stole from Voltron, too, if you think about it technically, but, that's just technical, and I wouldn't say fully, well, actually, kind of fully, because, I mean, they did make a giant robot, but the difference is, is that they were all tigers, so, there is that, so, <laughs> anyway, but, I, you know, and, and another thing is, look, I, I'm not into romance stuff and all that, but, at the same time, it's like, when you find a series, even if it's, uh, okay, it just depends on how, how heavily they are into romance, no, it's just a quiet show, and eventually it kind of slowly, eventually brings it into the show. That's fine, you know. Like Clan Ned, you know. Uh, that was that was good. There was another show I forget the name of it now, and I can't find it nowhere. So I was going to old school. I mean, really old school anime, uh, which is actually a cartoon, actually, and they decided to screw it up. Badly, and yeah, it, the show is called Sailor Moon. Yeah, yeah, that no. Unfortunately, if I want the Sailor Moon, I wanted to watch from the old days. I actually had to purchase it from YouTube, and I don't have the funds to buy it right now, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. The problem I have about YouTube right now is the fact that. Oh, it's on mobile. It tends to go like with a static thing or something, and it, it's, it lets it acts like it needs to load or something. I don't know what the hell that's about. And that's mobile. You know? I mean, it, it still kind of does that with like TVs and stuff like that or whatever, but. And my god, it's, it's crazy. So, I mean, I'm really not trying to complain, but I feel that. At the same time, that, I mean, I don't know what else to do about it. I mean, you know, I really don't want to watch what's on Hulu. Because that is not Sailor Moon. That is like a reinterpretation of what Sailor Mo Moon was or could be. And I respect the Japanese song. I really do. But in order for me to enjoy it like it was way back when, even though I really didn't care for the romance that went on... It, in the show, I really didn't, it to me that it was just too rushed, I mean, literally, it really was, but anyway, in order to listen to the old classic, where 
died and got a day life. Punish you in the name of the babe. Okay, I, I know that's a little girly, but come on. I mean, you're talking about old classic TV. I mean, hell, if I could, I would put it up into a lineup like they did with Tanami. And just, like, go, well, okay, this is what I want to watch now. And then in the next episode, I want to watch Dragon Ball or whatever. And, you know, that's, that's what I would love to do. I mean, because, you know, I really didn't even care for Sailor Moon all that well. Really, I didn't. I mean, it was a great show. Don't get me wrong. And, you know, it's kind of like Sonic. And, you know, yeah, the TV show. Because, yeah, they had some TV shows. The one I don't care about... Let me just bring that up real quick for you. I'm not even sure if it's still here or not, but, uh... Let's, let's look it up, shall we? Sonic... Yeah, there it is. Sonic Boom. One of the worst creations for Sonic. Now, don't get me wrong, it was great and all, but... There's not really much to it versus Sonic X. I mean, literally, Sonic X is the better show. And I don't mean just because Amy's in there or anything like that. But I mean because you have Chaos Emeralds. Every single game that I have ever known that they've ever done with... Sega and Sonic was always they had to have emeralds, chaos emeralds. You know? And the problem is that with Sonic Boom, they don't have any chaos emeralds. There is none. What fighting they do is very little. I mean, like, okay, what the hell? Why? I mean, you know, okay, it's fine. If you don't mind, you know, not, not a lot of, you know, I mean, although to be fair, there wasn't a lot of fighting in between a lot of stuff, but even so, they were kind of, at the minute, they were trying to fight a war, but they also took breaks here and there. But in this show, it's like, yeah, okay, one shot, you're dead, you're done, boom. I guess that's why they call it Sonic Boom. You know, and it, it, it's just, crazy, and they changed the voice actor, you know, and that's fine and everything, I mean, I don't have a problem with change so much, as I have a problem with it being called Sonic when there's no Chaos Emeralds, I mean, although to be fair, Sonic X, uh, was sort of a mistake, I say sort of, not a complete mistake, but I mean, because, literally, the main bad guy has always been Robotnik, but then they brought in another new villain. And it really it has nothing to do with Shadow. I mean, I don't even know why they even bothered with Shadow. Shadow is like a character that... Why does he exist again? I mean, I like Shadow. I think he's an awesome character. But the problem is, I mean, it's like... Why is he here again? What's the point of him, anyway? I mean, look, throughout the majority, when he when they finally introduced this guy, he's like the main uh, part of the main villains, which makes absolute to no freaking sense whatsoever. Because ultimately, he's a good guy, which makes no damn sense. Literally, if you were watching. Sonic X. And then when Sonic Boom came out, he only showed up in Season 2. The first episode. Of, uh, no. Season 1 at the last bit. To me, that's such a waste. And... I mean, it's like, okay... If you're not gonna have any chaos in the world, and you're not going to have Shadow around as a good guy, then what's the point? It's, all, it's not bad enough we had Knuckles as a bad guy. Oh no. Now we got to have Shadow.
there is technically an overall bad hedgehog, and that's Rogue. Or Rouge, whatever her name is. I don't think she's in Sonic Boom, I can't remember, but I do know that Styx is in there. That's a new character. Amy's in there, but she's not much, you know, there with Sonic as she is in Sonic X. But Tails is still in Sonic as a partner, which is good. You know, it make, makes sense because, you know, without Tails, it isn't, it isn't Sonic, but still, I mean, it still might as well not be because you ain't got no chaos emeralds. I mean, just because you could play a game and not get the chaos in most which you don't really, really need in some of the other games, doesn't mean that, you know, there isn't any, period, to get. And they're all optional anyway. You know, really. And every Sonic game, they are completely optional. And I'm going to tell you, I mean, Sonic Emeralds, uh, or Chaos Emeralds, whatever, I don't know what the difference is I, in terms of names. I just know they're the same. They, I don't know. Anyway, I, what I do know is that without the emeralds, that's not even highly sunk. Because he never goes super. Although, to be fair, I guess it's not much point. And if you think about the original series, I mean the actual original series, he never went super. Hell, even this, the show where Sonic had, which makes absolute to no sense, because that ended like, okay, they never even found a queen, except if you read the stupid freaking comics. The reason I'm saying it's stupid, because you actually have to go there if you want to finish it. Which is stupid. Really, it is. Why even bother with the damn TV show? If all this time you're trying, if you're following the quest for them to save, or I say, but find their mother, and they never really do. It's like, why even bother putting it on TV if we gotta watch it on in the book anyway? Or, excuse me, read it and look at the images. Instead of actually hearing the voices and the sounds of what it actually would sound like if it was actually on the screen. I mean, that's just ridiculous. But that's just my personal opinion. Honestly, the show was great. It doesn't mean the show wasn't great. It's just... A lot of endings suck. Okay? They always have, always will. Especially when, when there's so much more, you know, and, and it just sucks. I think what also sucks is like Dragon Ball Z when they had a another episode when it wasn't the true episode of when they released it to us in the United States. It officially ended with another episode with. Um, Goku coming back and all the mothers after so many years of blah 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 training. And then they had to introduce somebody that we never get to hear about. Except barely in Dragon Ball Super. And that's if you're reading the, uh, if you're watching the Japanese version of it. But even then, he's not, he doesn't ever show up. I mean, that's it. Introducing a character you have no reason to even know. You're like, hmm. Oh my god, Vegeta had a brother? An actual blood-related brother. And he doesn't even go Super Saiyan or nothing. can't even hardly quite, like, say to you. Really blows, but what do I know? Anyway. 
So that about do it for this update video. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you really want to know more, I will come out with another update video pretty soon again. But right now, uh, it still may be a while. This is the only video I'm going to do today for me. Anyway, this is me, DVD KMP, the best dude in the house. Until then, I will see you in the future. Bye-bye.